My name is Alicia Thomas, and I am the Assistant City Secretary here in administration. I am Captain Terry Baker. My name is Octavius Foster. Uh, my name is Sarah Criswell. I'm a firefighter here with the City of DeSoto Fire Rescue. Uh, I am the Administrative Assistant for DeSoto Parks and Recreation. I've been with the city for about three years. Hi, I'm Walter. Biggins. I'm a senior maintenance worker, public utilities. I'm going on my 18th year here with the uh, city of DeSoto. I came to the city of DeSoto on a temporary assignment in February of 2013, and I officially became a team member, embarking on a new career journey in local municipal government in May of that same year. We have so many more businesses coming to DeSoto. Our tax base is going up. Um, I, I think that we are an up-and-coming city, and I think that um, I think the future is bright for DeSoto. Shortly after I began with the city, I created a vision board of goals that I wanted to accomplish, and further, my education was definitely at the top of my list. Well, it was important for the officers here when they found out that we was going to be able to offer a $10,000 sign-on bonus for those that already have experience or went through the academy. Uh, they know that that eliminates some time that the academy takes away, which is four months. So it gets officers on the street quicker, plus you're getting the experience back out there. And I just wanted to say thank you. This helps us out a lot. We work a lot of hours, sometimes 18 to 24 hours. And sometimes we think that we're not appreciated. But thank you again, City of the Soto, because y'all say it, y'all deserve it, and y'all appreciate us. Uh, Dr. Richardson uh, emphasis, puts a lot of emphasis on education and with this program that he's allowed us to participate in, which they help us obtain a bachelor's degree uh, in business administration at the University of North Texas at Dallas, uh, he really has put his money where, the, where his mouth is. So I'm really appreciative of the opportunity. I plan to use this degree to further myself uh, with the city. We did lose a lot of people, um, and we are still losing some people, unfortunately. Um, with this pay increase, we are going to retain a lot of people. Um, they loved working here in DeSoto, but unfortunately the pay wasn't high enough for them and they could go where it was more competitive. And this raise will turn that around for our fire department, and, and we are extremely hopeful for that. Um, I think that that's the writing on the wall is that we will become extremely competitive with the salary that we have now. Well, the, you know, it's so competitive these days, and our officers, when we found out that we was offering a $10,000 incentive for transfers over, uh, that immediately gives some relief as short as we are because it's like we're going to get some experienced officers in, and you, we just had to stay competitive with this $10,000. Uh, the city, we brought it up, the city offered, and uh, they went, the city went with it. It was a positive. As a single mother of two and working full time, I was definitely faced with a few challenges, but I remain persistent and continually motivated by the examples of leadership around me. It is definitely a true testament to my growth as an employee here at the city of DeSoto. The extra money and the paycheck now allows me to spend more time with my grandkids and even to take my wife out on certain events. So this has really helped me. And then looking forward to the years to come, it helps, also helps me out with my retirement. I truly want to thank the council members who voted for the amendment to provide the employees with the raise. And this is not just any raise. This is the comp study that we've been working on for more than a year. And we said, okay, this is nice, but how are we gonna get the money to employees? And that's where the really, that's where the really, really fun stuff starts. Because what we did was say, we have a minimum salary for each position. This is, this is the least amount of money we're gonna pay for this. We have a maximum for each position because each position has worth, a minimum and a maximum. You have a middle as well, and the middle should be the average. So the average takes into account those people who have been doing this for 10 minutes, 10 years, but that would be the average. So what we did was went to the average and said, we're going to have a step program. We're gonna have a step program for all civilian employees. And we're gonna take those employees and place them in the closest step where they currently are, okay? And then we're going to give them an opportunity to move through that step system. Now those steps are in 2% increments from the minimum to the midpoint. 
So every employee was placed on a step and at the next e review date, which is based on either the date of hire or the date of most recent promotion, those employees can move to the next step. So that is, uh, that is thrilling, that is incredible. Uh, we have not been able to do this and I am truly excited. Police and fire, uh, from everything I've heard, are very, very happy with their salaries. Civilians are very happy and I think the civilians, uh, the civilians and police and fire, but civilians most of all, are happy to be able to move through that structure because that is something that they have not been able to do before. And this is with all of our departments on all levels because we wanted to say that we appreciate all the public services that you provide to our community and we want to salute you for the hard work that you have done over the years here in the city of DeSoto to make our city what it is today. So now I can say, the city of DeSoto, I will retire here. The city's commitment to having an educated workforce is building a foundation that is solid. Solid. As solid as a rock. Thanks, DeSoto.